me and you, we're best friends, okay? You may not have known that, but now you do. And today, today, bitch, we're smoking, okay? Go grab a blunt. Let's get this thing started. I know you don't smoke weed. I know this. But I'm gonna get you high today. Cause it's Friday, you ain't got no job, and you ain't got shit to do. Of course. Ow! Quick, quick question. Why is it that the raw fucking papers, they never burn like even? It's never consistent. Like, I'm good. Hold on, hold on. Yes. Mm. So let's get into it, bitch. Get your blunt, kick back, chill out. This is not a serious video at all. We're not even really gonna be talking about much of any fucking thing. I'm just, I'm just here to be in the background while you're smoking. So how about I just got off work, right? Had a great day today. I went and voted earlier. I was hanging out with my brother. Came back, went to work, and usually like I'd be like, oh, I gotta go to work. But I actually really like my job. It's a really nice job. I work with cool people. The customers are cool most of the fucking time. Had a great fucking day. Got to the end of my shift. We're in the back counting tills or whatever. We're in the back counting tills. And I'm joking with this guy, right? <clears throat> Mind you, cool dude. Love him. He, I wouldn't say he took the joke too far because it wasn't really that serious, but he took the joke too fucking far. Once I tell you that something that you said is making me uncomfortable, that's it. That's it's, it's reps at that point. I'm I'm expecting you to stop, especially if I tell you, hey, no, I'm not I'm not fucking with that. Like I'm, I'm not fucking with that at all. So stop because I know. Hold on, because mm -hmm. I know when I joke with somebody, and they're like, oh, okay, that's a little bit too much. Or, oh, you took the joke a little bit too far. You took it too far. Da, da, da. I immediately apologize, and then I keep it moving. The joke ends. That's it. That's like that's the end of it. I'm not gonna keep joking. Like I'm not gonna keep going with the same thing, especially when it's like making somebody visibly when, whenever it's just making them uncomfortable, period. But he carried on with the joke. And then I said out loud, I said, I feel like you're making fun of me right now. And he started laughing. He was like, It's cause I am. Oh. Mm. Now listen, I don't like to get mad. I don't like to argue. I don't like to do none of that, right? I don't know what it was. But that shit pissed me the fuck off. Something like that usually would not piss me off, but that pissed me the fuck off. And it made me mad. And so then I do what I do in a lot of situations. Like I, I'll go quiet, like I'll just stop talking. And I feel like I do that because that's what I used to do when I was younger. Like I would usually shut down because usually whenever I got mad anyway, it, it, it never turned out good. So I found it better to just shut the fuck up. And it wasn't that I didn't know how to articulate my words because I was visibly, like visibly, audibly. I outwardly expressed that I was uncomfortable and that what he was doing was pissing me off. Not just with my words, but also with my demeanor. You could tell that I wasn't joking at that point. And the other people that were in the room could tell that I wasn't joking at that point. And I feel like they knew that I wasn't joking at that point, but they just continued to keep going with it. And then they, they said, that they were making fun of me. Like they said it and they said it in like a joking manner and they were laughing while they said it. But I take, I, maybe it's cause I'm an overthinker but once you say something, that's a law. Up here, once you say it, that's law and you meant it. It pissed me off and I got quiet. And like, I realized today, I think that I may have anger issues. I just don't do a good job or I just don't outwardly express the anger. You know what I mean? Like, I don't really get, it's it's not that I don't get angry a lot. Well, I don't really get angry a lot, but it's also because I feel like whenever I get angry, I just internalize that anger. Does that make any sense? I just keep it in. I don't, I will express that anger because I don't want to be angry instead of just feeling the anger, like the anger, right? So I didn't say shit. Like I just, I was just, I just went quiet at that moment. Right when you said that, went quiet. And he was trying to talk to me for the rest of the shift, trying to like joke or whatever, but I just went quiet. It was it was raps at that point. I didn't want to say anything. I didn't want to say a thing. I was done. I was mad. On my way home, I think I was just overthinking it so much that I just got madder and madder and madder. And I realized that I think I may have anger issues 
because the thoughts that were going through my head were fucking crazy over something that was so fucking small. Usually it takes a lot for me to get angry. And whenever I get angry, I experience thoughts of like, like bitch, I think I'm, I think I'm vindictive. I want to hurt that person 10 times fucking worse. You go low, bitch, I want to go to fucking hell. Like, like, let's, let, 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 let the, let, let, let the both of us go visit there. Like, I, I really want to take it farther than where it needs to go. I want to be so irrational that it's crazy, but I want to do it in such a manner that you wouldn't even know that I'm being irrational. Like, I want to fuck with you so bad. You wouldn't even think that I could do like, like some shit like this. And you wouldn't suspect that, that all this negativity that you're experiencing is because of me, but that's what I want. Does that make any sense? I want you so bad. Like, oh wait, like let me let me paint a picture so I feel like I make sense. Cause I feel like I'm a little bit high and I feel like I'm not making any fucking sense at all. So let me reel it back, okay? Let's say I'm dating somebody, right? I'm dating somebody. And like I really care for them. I love this person, right? And I express to them that cheating is like a no-go for me. Like that's that would really hurt me. That would hurt me really, really fucking bad. I let them know how bad it would hurt me, etc. right? And I let them know that I'm leaving because I'm not staying if you cheat. Like that doesn't make sense to me. No shade to you or, or your situation or whatever, but it just, it does, for me, no, fuck no, I can't do it. Like I know me and I can't do it. So let's say, yeah, I'm in a relationship with them. They know I love them, yada, yada, yada. They know if they cheat that that would hurt me, blah, 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 right? And they cheat. So I told you that it would hurt me, right? And you did it anyway. So you purpose, purposefully, 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 purposefully? No, I said it right the first time. Purpose, how do you say? Pur purposefully, purposefully? That doesn't make any fucking sense. Oh my God, I'm not to talk. Purposely, not purposefully, purposely. Pur is that not what I said earlier? I don't know. <laughs> so I let you know that that's gonna hurt me and you do it anyway. You purposely, that's gonna piss me off. You do it on purpose, right? You just hurt me on purpose. In one of the worst ways that you could do it. On purpose. Oh, uh, so you went low. You went low, you went really fucking low. Damn, that hurt. You went really fucking low. So let's go past hell, okay? I I I want to take it there. I'm gonna leave, first of all. Point of I'm leaving you. But you best believe I'm gonna get my get back. Now, 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 now pause, pause on this. I know this is not a healthy way of thinking, right? And I'm, I, I'm sure, I know, as time goes on, I'm not gonna think like this. I'm gonna look back one day and be like, Bro, that was a that was such a negative and toxic way of thinking. You are completely right. Yes, you're right. But I'm not there yet, bitch. I want you. I want your fucking neck. I want your head. I want your. Head. I want to fuck with you so bad. I like sometimes I've even dreamt of it, bitch. Like somebody was doing it. this is. That's not healthy. <laughs> that's not healthy. Anyway, where it's like somebody does me so bad, and then of course I exit their life. <laughs> Bitch, my <laughs> bitch, my cat was sitting under this thing, right? It's a little backdrop, real cute Amazon. <laughs> my cat was sitting under this and I was reaching my hand under to pull out this cord that's right here. This bitch takes her claw, her 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 claw, her paw and swipes at my hand so it scares me because I didn't know she was back there. So that was that moment. Um, <laughs> what, were, what were we talking about? Last thing I remember is trying to pronounce purpose, purposely. I still don't think that's right. Pur you're purposely, purposably, no. Purposefully, I think that means full of purpose. <laughs> like I dreamt about it one time. I think this is where I was at. Okay, boom. Well, like somebody doing me so bad and then, and then doing me so terribly, right? Them doing me so wrong, right? I would want them to get everything that they've ever wished for in life. 
no and, and i'm not saying that in like a like a double meaning way no like all the positive things that they've ever wanted and like i would want that for them i would wish them so much well yeah i hope you do great i hope you accomplish all the goals and all the things that you've ever been looking for in life i i really want that for you and then i want you to lose every single last fucking bit of it oh i i would want you to get everything that you've ever wanted to be on such a high and then everything just tumble back down and you never being able to get back to that spot where you were at and so for the rest of your long long fucking life you would just think of the days where you were on top and you would realize and you would know that you would never ever get there again. You have peaked and you have reached your peak. The rest of your life has no fucking meaning. You are an empty soul. You are just a vessel walking around this fucking earth. You are nothing. You reached the top and now you will never get back there. Congratulations. Yeah. <laughs> now, like I said, is that a healthy way of thinking? No. <laughs> no, it's not. And I'm working on me. And I'm working on that. But it's not like it's unprovoked, bitch. It's not like it's unprovoked. I'm doing not. I'm doing nothing. Well, I won't say I'm doing nothing. Because you'll never go through like just, do. you're going to fuck up sometimes, period. But I don't do any, if I do nothing to deserve the negativity that you're throwing my way, But I'm growing and I'm healing and I'm moving forward each day. Yeah, so you know what? It's the guy that did that tonight, whenever I see him again, I'm gonna address it. You know what I'm saying? Cause I feel like I, I, I now, cause I wasn't like this before, but I feel like now if you have a problem with somebody, if you don't like something that they're doing or that they have done, you should say that instead of just thinking it because then what the fuck does it matter? You, you know what I mean? I can go to somebody right now and bitch and be like, Oh, they did this, is that, and the third, which it wasn't even a big fucking deal, but it still bothered me, so I'm gonna address it. But if I wanted somebody, I was like, oh, so and so did this, is that, and the third to me, and oh, they really pissed me off, blah, 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 but I'm not going up to that person and telling them what the fuck. Then who cares, girl? <laughs> why are you bitching me for you? And you wouldn't even go tell the person that you have a problem with why you have a problem with them. That's pussy, girl, and it stinks. That stinks. What? Oh my God, can we talk about Drake's new album? Drake and 21 Savage collaborative project, their collaborative album. Okay. I'm not gonna lie. It wasn't bad. <laughs> it wasn't bad, but I have this thing with Drake, right? I have this thing with Drake. Nigga does not know who the fuck I am, right? Which is why this is what I'm saying doesn't fucking matter. But I'm gonna say it any fucking way, I don't give a fuck. Drake, You can't say that the nigga is legendary, right? You can't, you can't say that he isn't legendary. You can't say that he isn't like goaded at this point, sure. But I feel like <laughs> if you listen to Drake's music that he's been putting out and let's say you got Johnny, Johnny off the street, you got Johnny and you got Drake, right? Let's say you take a song from Drake and it hasn't been released yet, like it's never come out. And Johnny produces the same song. Girl, what the fuck are you <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? Really back in, you're not that fucking high. Okay, back to you. If a regular nigga put out a song, the same song, and I mean the same exact song that Drake put out, like before Drake put it out, it was a Drake type fucking song. If one if some random motherfucking person did it, nobody would give a shit. Nobody nobody would be like Oh my fucking god, nobody would be like, this is the best fucking song I've ever listened to in my fucking life. Nobody would do that shit. Nobody, it would just be, not saying it would be a trash song, not saying that it wouldn't slap, but it would just be a regular ass fucking song. You, you know what I mean? It would just be a regular ass fucking song that would drift away eventually. But let's say you got some random woman off the street who sings like Whitney Houston and who comes out with music and she, stop. 
and she sounded like Whitney Houston, right? And it, it wasn't Whitney Houston. You know what I'm saying? Some random woman who's not copying Whitney Houston, but she's putting on music like how Whitney Houston would put it out before Whitney Houston would. Did that make sense? You Follow me, <laughs> follow me, okay? Just some random ass woman. It was still hit. It was still be, oh my fucking God. It was still sound ill, just spit. It was still sound legendary. You know what I mean? I can't say the same for Drake, but it is Drake, so you know what I mean? But back to what I was saying, the album, it wasn't fucking terrible. It wasn't that, it wasn't that, it wasn't terrible. Um, 21, can you do something for me? Yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't terrible. It wasn't bad. I will go back and listen to some of the songs. Wasn't bad, wasn't bad. Um, I will say that those shots, alleged, excuse me, excuse me, the alleged shots. Ooh. Ooh, honey, I did, ooh. Ooh, I did not do that on purpose. That was, no, the, the lines in the, <laughs> The lines in the song that are allegedly about Megan Thee Stallion were cheap. They were cheap. They weren't even good. Like it wasn't even a good diss to me. It, it, if it was supposed to be that, hey, whatever, I don't know. I don't give a fuck at the end of the fucking day. Um, but yeah, it just, it was cheap. It was weird. I don't know, that's weird. That's weird. And it, it's real shit is corny. That's weird and that's corny. I'm sorry, that's weird. And you can't convince me that it wasn't weird. It was weird. Even if you have, even if there's something we don't know behind the scenes, which I'm pretty sure there is, or if it's, you know, I, I don't fucking know. I don't fucking know, but it's, that's weird. And then the alleged shot towards Serena Williams' husband, that was weird. Then he, he said like her husband was a fucking groupie or something. I don't, I don't know, I don't know if you should be saying that, love. No shade. I mean, you know, I just don't know if you're the person to be saying that. Calling somebody a groupie, I mean, I don't think. You know, I don't, I don't know. I don't know if that was, but I don't, hey, I don't know this nigga. I don't know this nigga for real. I don't know this nigga for real. I just see what I see online. So that really doesn't fucking matter. This shit could all be fucking fake and just a, a good little a little a little grab for his album, you know, to get people to listen. I don't fucking know. I don't fucking know. It doesn't fucking matter. But it was weak and it was lame and it was corny. Sorry. It has some good songs on the album though. 21, can you do something for me? Yeah. I hop on a song and make a label think I need you, for real. Yeah, okay, <laughs> girl, girl, you ate that up. I love that for you, I love that. That was some hating that shit, was it? Can we get some water? Can we get some water? Thanks. Oh, I just noticed something. Mm, 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 mm. I did not cook. Bitch, I got some tuna in there. Mmm. Oh, I wanna read a book. Ooh, I'm gonna finish that book I was reading. I have nothing to eat. <laughs> it's some grits right there, but I'm pretty sure. <laughs> I'm 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 80% positive. That them bitches is stale. I don't even know if grits go stale. But if they don't, I could cook me some grits and some sausage, eggs, and it's some pancakes in there. I know what you think, bitch, that's a big ass meal. Mind your fucking business. <laughs> bitch, I, 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 didn't, I, didn't, I didn't hit you up. I didn't, I, didn't, I, didn't, I didn't hit you up to be judged. You didn't click on this video to judge me, and if you did, you're a hater. But go ahead and like the video while, while you're here. Go ahead and like it, period. What the fuck was I about to say? You know, it just keeps going through my head. 21. Can you do something for me? Can you shake a little ass for me? Can you do a little something, something for me? Thanks, 21, do your thing. <laughs> Why did he do that? <laughs>
Drake is not ass. He's not a bad <laughs> He's not. He be y'all. You cannot y'all. Drake is not ass. He's not. And that that line in itself, even it wasn't ass. But it was just like, why would you do that? Who told you to do that? Who wrote that one? And that's not even shade. Who did that? <laughs> he said, "21, can you do something for me?" <laughs> Ooh, them eyes bloodshot gone. I don't know. 21, can you do something for me? Can you do a little something, something for me? <laughs> he ate that up though. He did a really good job. I'm trying so hard. <laughs> To get these bitches lined up. <laughs> you you probably you nine times out of ten, ten times out of nine, you probably do not know this. But I had a I had a uh smoke with me like already posted before. And I'll take some clips out of it before I delete it um completely. I had a smoke with me and bitch, I got so high, which I really didn't even get fucking that high, but I got so high that I started doing like improv and shit. And I started talking with different accents. I was talking like, yo, your neighborhood crackhead that be at the liquor store. I think I spoke a little bit of British, maybe sprinkled in a little um, Spanish. Uh, Donde esta la biblioteca? Mmm. 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 I think I just ate you up. Yeah. Mmm, you did not know I was bilingual. Mmm. I had to grab it, hold on. You did not know I was bilingual. Donde esta la biblioteca? You did not know that. You did not know I could give it to the girls like that. You did not know that. You, you, you would have never gathered would have never uh hold on one second i'm sorry you would have never uh figured you would have never guessed Ooh, you, yeah you ate that you <laughs> you would have never guessed you would have never known bilingual yeah yeah shout out to duolingo yeah yeah um, me on my Lela. Yeah, you would have never known. You would have never. Wow, that's impact. <laughs> wow, that's actually fucking crazy. Yeah. You would have. <laughs> what the fuck was we talking about? What was we talking about? Girl, I think I was mad earlier. <laughs> Girl. And I'll just show you. Like, little shit, it just, it really doesn't fucking matter. Now, am I still gonna dress it? Yeah, I am. But, like, it, it, like, it, like, it really, when you think about it, is it worth addressing? Like, it doesn't even matter. It sure enough don't matter right now. <laughs> Disclaimer time. There we go. Um, <laughs> that is not weed. That is not cannabis. I would never. No. Mm -mm. I would not do that. That's really, that's really something that you even think that I would do that. That's really telling of your character that you think that I would do something like that. Why would you even, do you know what I mean? Like, why would you, as a person, ask me that? To another person, like a person talking to another person, why would you even accuse me of that? Why would you go that far? Really? What about me gave that? What clues, you know? There's no evidence of that ever anywhere. And if even if there was, it would have been discarded. But there's no, there's no... That's crazy of you. That's really <laughs> making me a little uncomfortable. 
you know, to even be around you. But I'll excuse, hey, no, look, your excuse. It's okay, you're all right. I'm not gonna think too much about it, you know? Bitch, who the fuck are you talking? <laughs> Now I know what you're thinking. Wait, like you still smoking? Yes, bitch. Oh, oh, I'm a really good editor. I'm a really great editor. If I can knock this bitch to 22 minutes, start now. Like 22 minutes right now will be right now. If it's a 25 minute video, hey. But 23 minutes right now. 22, what did I say? I feel like I've gotten a little better at editing videos. Not, not much, much better, but I'm doing a really good job. I think I'm doing a good job. Now, when I can get the quality good and whenever I can get the audio to be great, the top tier fucking videos. And also when I learn to edit better. A mixture of those three things, fucking solid. But but I got the advice, or I was, I, I guess you could call it advice. I was told that I need to stop uh, always aiming to get things at 100%. And when they're at, not at 100%, I get extremely, extremely upset and extremely, extremely hard on myself. Like I need to like be able to accept things only being 98, you know what I mean? Cause I don't know, I feel like I hold the standard to myself where it's like, excuse me, the standard to myself where it's like, I want this to look exactly like how I envisioned it. I want this to be perfect. This has to be perfect. If it's not perfect, it isn't right. You know what I mean? But not realizing that there's no such thing as perfection. You're always gonna find something wrong with it. You know what I mean? It's okay if things are at 98%. It's okay if it's not the absolute best. Damn near close is okay too. I have a shirt right here beside me, right? My work shirt, because I didn't wanna wear my work shirt in the video, right? So I put it beside me. Mm -hmm. Granted, I know what you're saying, girl. Why don't you just go and put it in the hamper? Listen, okay? It's right here. After I'm done with the video, I put it in the hamper. I just didn't feel like it right now. Back to the story I was just telling you. And I know you hear that dingling. That's my cat, by the way. Um, So the shirt is right next to me. Tell me why there's now a cat on top of my shirt. Hmm? Can you explain to me why? We're at 40 minutes now. Can you explain to me why there's a cat on top of my shirt? And I know what you're thinking, girl, you shouldn't have put your shirt on the floor. It's my shirt, it's my floor. I could put it wherever I want, you know? Why is there a cat on top of it? Why does she want to lay on top of my things, on my stuff? Mind you, I have one, two, three rugs, three fur rugs, two in the front room, one in the room. She can lay all over those. It's real soft. It's real plush. I bought a cat bed for her. Because, you know, at first she was just sleeping in her cage. But I was like, that's kind of, it, it gets cramped in there. I don't know. I don't know. I don't think cats are supposed to be sleeping in cages. And then, I don't, I think, I, I don't know. I just don't think that they're supposed to be doing that. And I don't think I should have did that initially. But she was sleeping in her cage. And I was like, no, my baby's getting bigger. She need her bed. And I went and I got her a bed. And mind you how I think the pet beds, because I got her a real nice one. And I'll show you a picture if I can. Pretty sure I got it from like Walmart. I got it from Walmart. Walmart. And it was like 30 something fucking dollars. And I know what you're thinking, girl, that's not really a lot of money for a bed. Bitch, yes it is. But anyway, it was really, really nice. And I was like, I would want something soft to sleep on. Let me get my baby something soft to sleep on. So mind you, she has a really nice little bed. And there's also a little towel to represent a blanket in her bed. And she really loves that towel. She plays with it all the time. She takes it around the house. She drags everywhere, loves it. I got all this shit for her to be laying on. She chooses to lay on my shirt that now I'm going to have to go get the roller and roll it so I get the fucking cat hair off and then put it in the washing machine. Cause bitch, don't put no shirt full of cat hair <laughs> in the washing machine. Cause then you just gonna get cat hair all over your clothes. Cat hair don't disappear in water. <laughs> just cause you tumbling it around in that bitch. No, now you just gonna have cat hair on your shit. You gotta roll it. 
But back to what I was saying. No, I didn't forget, ho. Everything is not always going to... Oh, that's going to fuck up the audio. So we're going to wrap it up right here. You can't always expect shit. Expect? Who are you? <laughs> you can't expect everything to be at 100%. You can't always expect every single thing to be perfect. You can't always say, oh, I want it to be this way. It has to be this way or that way, that way, that way, that way, or it's not good enough. You can't always set the bar to be at perfect and everything else will not be good enough. Like that's not, that's not good. I still got this love. And I know what you're thinking. She about to put that up. She about to put that up and she about to go ahead and wind down for the night and go ahead and take a shower and then go ahead and go to sleep. I know what you're thinking. I know. I know what you're thinking. She's not going to do that. She don't put this up. Save it for tomorrow. You're a fucking liar. Okay? And you were completely wrong. Sorry if I got a little aggressive, but you're okay. You're fine. I'm about to smoke this. But you know what? I'll put it to the side and I'll close the video so you so you won't have to sit through it. I, it's okay. You don't have to thank me. It's, it's fine. It's okay. Relax. It's, <laughs> come on out. You want to see my cat? Not that, no, not, no, that's not this type of video. I was talking about, like, this cat. Hey, mama. Oh, she, she don't want to be picked up right now. See, she's not feeling me right now. You want to eat? Okay, give me two seconds, okay? I'm sorry, I'm, 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 I'm wrapping it up. Give me two seconds. I can't have two seconds. Don't sniff me. Oh, mm -mm. <laughs> You eat that, you're gonna be fucked. Yeah, I'm gonna smoke this. Yeah. And yeah, I'm gonna wind down for the night and I'm gonna call it. But thank you for sitting with me through this all over the place video to be honest i don't remember all the shit that we talked about and i'm sure i'm gonna edit this and a lot of shit's gonna be taken out this might not even get posted but if you see this that means congratulations you're on the timeline when this is posted congratulations i don't know where the fuck i was going with that i feel like i just experienced a too high moment and that's not where I'm trying to be. You know, I'm trying to be at a cool middle, not too high. You know, so I'm I'm really about to go take my shower right the fuck now. You have a great night or a great day or a great whatever the fuck you're watching this. You just have a great one, period. And um, make sure you like, comment. I don't know if the fuck you would comment <laughs> on this video. Um, sativa or indica, let me know down. <laughs> I'm gonna go. Cause it got a little awkward, you know? It's like, <laughs> you know? Yeah. Like why the fuck would somebody just keep staring at somebody and then not say bye? Like they expected you to say bye first. When you do that on every motherfucking video, why the fuck do you have to say bye first? And then they sit there staring at you. And then, oh, did they see me? But then they ain't even click off the video yet. They just in here. Just like, why are you still watching? You're still here. That's fucking crazy. I'm talking to you, bitch. Yo, yeah, what's up? You're still here. There's nobody on the screen. You don't even know what the fuck I'm doing behind the camera right now. Could you guess? I give you 10 fucking seconds to guess what I'm doing. 10 seconds. That's all you get, bitch. I don't know if time came up. I got no clock on me. It's been 10 seconds, bitch. I'm hitting the fucking dungy. <laughs> and you had no idea. You probably can't even hear me right now. I don't fucking know, bitch. I'm hitting the dungy. Can you guess what side? I'll give you one last chance to get something right. Guess what side, ho? Bitch, both of them. You never seen a bitch dungy from both. Oh, this is not the, is this the ducky? Oh, this is the stanky leg. <laughs> Why are you, bitch, what the fuck did Flo Millie say? She said, oh, why is you here? And then she said, oh, 
You still here, bitch? She about to come out with an album called Ho, You Here Again? <laughs> Bye.